you guys, welcome back. This lesson is titled Additional Ways to Maintain and Raise Your Frequency. Now, I don't really actually have that much to say in terms of specific ways because the most important thing, the most important thing of my journey, and I know on practically anyone that I meet on this path and that are st studying my teachings and that I work with in my inner circle, the most important aspect is to keep yourself inspired. And so it's actually very easy to maintain and raise your frequency. And that is as simple as go back through some of the academy lessons, go take some academy lessons that you haven't done before, go hang out with someone that you know overall has perhaps a higher anchored state of frequency than you do. Um, ask for advice, have a one-on-one -on -one session with one of the facilitators perhaps of my work, watch some of the YouTube videos, or allow yourself to sit through perhaps a portion of or the entirety of one of the retreat recordings. Read one of the books. So, um, really, the, the most effortless and gentle and kind and powerful and efficient way for yourself to raise and maintain your frequency is to be exposed to material, which is very effortless. You just sit down and you listen or you look at something. Listen to material, inundate yourself or surround yourself with experiences and people and most of all content and videos that truly inspires you, that is able to almost do all the work for you. And that's kind of the intention behind the academy is that most of the work can be done for you. The path can be chiseled out for you. All you need to do is sort of let go into it, commit to it and let it have you, let it transform your vibration. And of course, do your homework if you want to. So yes, practice is a big part of all of this. Like you do need to practice in order to really make it your own, but you will want to practice naturally when you start to feel into the massive major benefits of all of these practices and journeys and insights. It doesn't mean you have to practice all these insights all the time. Just pick the one that excites you the most in that moment, the one that resonates the most in that moment. Again, when it comes to your spiritual journey itself and your practices, your chosen adept practices itself, then also following the breadcrumb trail is still solid advice. You follow your excitement one step at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time, without insisting that it should come in a particular way, without trying to project how it's going to unfold. Sure, visualize whatever excites you, imagine what excites you, but have no attachment to the outcome. So every single time you apply the same thing to actually raising your frequency. What could raise my frequency right now? Let me just, and, and sometimes when you're in a low vibe, you might not feel inspired. That's the thing, right? That's the contradiction. You might not feel inspired to hit up one of the videos in the academy or to go to the forum or to explore in a different way. You might not feel like that, but then this would be the only time I would say to occasionally at least force yourself to just like, all right, like nothing else seems exciting to me anyway. I'm sort of in a depressed state right now. Um, so to back uplift yourself, I'm talking about the worst case scenario when you're already sort of depressed and nothing really excites you. Go watch a video. Just go watch a video. Just go watch a video. Lock yourself up in your room for half an hour or an hour and go watch one of the videos. Let your intuition guide you which one. Go through the academy because it will lift your spirits for you. And once your spirits are lifted, you have boom, released the spell of that lower vibrational paradigm or realm of being and you will have entered another frequency domain altogether and when you enter a higher frequency domain altogether instantly you have access again to more inspiring thoughts to more exciting ideas to more exciting visualizations to more exciting suggestions as to what actions to take right now so the key is to keep yourself inspired now keeping yourself inspired can in and of itself become sort of a negative belief that you are not perfect as you are or that you cannot ever just like let your hair down and that's not at all what i'm saying sometimes it's really good to just like oh let your hair down not do anything but then perhaps to make that even more crystal clear why not watch one of the enlightenment videos where it's about allowing yourself the emotions that you're having and becoming more transcendent in your awareness while your body is perhaps or your mind is perhaps feeling a little low on inspiration and then from that space, oh, you're freed up. You're more self-realized. Suddenly you can allow everything within the 
higher self, within the bigger self, within that bigger consciousness, to just be an appearance of awareness, just coming and going, coming and going. And now suddenly it doesn't affect you as much anymore. You feel freer again. And feeling freer is another paradigm. It's another frequency domain. And so now you start to get more inspired already. And now that enlightenment will turn into or blend into empowerment quite effortlessly. And maybe you shift courses and you go to one of the empowerment courses that is all about creating your reality. And now suddenly with the backup of enlightenment, of true allowance, of true peacefulness of these emotional states and having sort of allow yourself to not identify with them, but allow them to be seen as love light expressions of God, of, of source, of all that there is. And that you have the capacity to let them just go. Now from this state of freedom and self-realized peacefulness, maybe you're inspired to to hit up the empowerment course and start creating something exciting again. So it can all flow into that. But you know, the key is to expose yourself to sort of almost at times force yourself a little bit when nothing else excites you, when your guidance mechanism is working, but you're just in a state where it can't really reach you very clearly. And it's not very obvious what excites you in that moment or what leads into the next most expensive version of yourself, then force yourself to go enter the academy or to go watch one of the YouTube videos or spend some time reading some of my quotes or materials or just do a meditation perhaps or do one of the exercises. Not all the time. It's good sometimes to not do anything. It's good sometimes to not force anything, to just let everything just completely be whatsoever and not force yourself to watch even a single video or line of my work. But I'd say eight out of 10 times when you feel a little low, a video can definitely inspire you. And before you know it, within the same hour, it can have you back to where you were, if not even freer, if not even more excited, if not even more back on track. Especially if you don't bring the past garbage with you or the past conditioning with you or the past assumptions of how you are going through ups and downs and states of peaks and valleys and how your journey has progressed so far. If you just let that all be and you have an innocent moment of watching a video, a clean slate, start with a clean slate if you can. Allow yourself to feel depressed. Allow yourself to not feel so connected, but at least be completely open and innocent about it. Don't hold any ideas about it and watch one of the videos and see what happens. It's the most effortless way to raise and maintain your frequency, honestly. Other than that, any of the exercises already given is designed in this academy, obviously, especially the empowerment course is designed to help raise and maintain your chosen vibration. So simply go through one of the lessons. Again, the advice comes down to the same thing. It's all already here. The roadmap is here. Um, now, sometimes when you're feeling mm, perhaps not so high and you wish to expand a little more, you wish to feel that excitement again, maybe you've done the same thing for too long, whether it's a spiritual practice, whether it's hanging out with the same people, whether it is living in the same area, whether it is doing the same profession, maybe you're ripe for simply something new. So allow yourself to expand. If everything was possible, ask yourself this question. If everything was possible, if there were no lack of resources whatsoever, just an overabundance of opportunity, possibility, and if everything that I truly desired was automatically within my integrity and I wouldn't really have to consider everyone else. In that state of imagined freedom, now if everything was possible, truly, what have I always wanted to be or do? And what is it that I want to be and do now? And what of that which I always wanted to be and do is still left within me, who still wants to have a voice, still wants to be experienced. And then go and make a radical shift in your life. Because you can try whatever you want with videos and practices of raising your frequency. But if you're fundamentally in a depressed spot in your life, if you're fundamentally having closed yourself with the beliefs that this is not possible for you, or that you should not be who you want to be, or that you maybe don't even remember what you truly wish to be or become, or do in this life because of all these ideas that you've accumulated. So you need to break out of that. You need to make a radical change in lifestyle. You need to make a radical change. Either quit your job, take a sabbatical, uh, take a vacation, go somewhere else, hang out with people you've always wanted to hang out with, um, study something or learn about something you've always wanted to learn. Start activating that breadcrumb trail, permission slip symbolism again of following your highest resonance. But sometimes you need to break out of your present scenario. Feel that you have the integrity and love and support of the universe to do so. Think a little bigger than you're used to thinking and then make a radical shift or practice that particular new vibration or new reality for a period of time. Because again, fundamentally being encrusted into a particular reality doesn't allow for a lot of expansion or recognition of your joy in the first place. So sometimes you need to just 
expand huge in huge ways in radical ways and be fearless and see that it doesn't make sense yes it's safer to stay in the encrusted space or though all so i think or so i think so it might be looking like it is safer to stay in the encrusted state of what you know and what everyone expects of you and not being radical and not stepping on anyone else's toes and not going outside of your financial boundaries and all that stuff it might seem really appealing to you might seem really safe but hold the two things in comparison. Either I live my joy and I start in more adventures life and I explore more of who I am and my life starts to take on a truly, deeply, profoundly, intimately spiritual meaning within myself. I start to feel connected to my higher self, I start to be intuitive, I start to get these signals, I start to be able to dialogue with my truer self by stepping up, stepping up to the plate, becoming that embodiment, becoming that receptive point, that vessel that allows for that higher energy to come through, that higher excitement to come through, that fearlessness to come through. Or will I stay here and know everything I already know for the next 20 years? And will that truly benefit me? Or will that start to make me sick and frustrated and hate everyone around me? Step out of that boundary. It's actually safer. It's actually more secure. It's actually way healthier and certain of your survival, and certain of your expansion, and certain of your happiness to get out of the encrusted state. I don't even know if that's a word, but you know, where you're all crusted together, where you're like um, in that control that you already know for so long. Get out of that. If you're not in a state, if you're not having the basics around you that excite you, if you're not basically living the life of your dreams, even though sure you can work on optimizing that, but if the basic elements of what you truly desire, where you want to live, who you want to be with, uh, what you want to do, if these elements are not in place, if you have not chosen that yet, then none of the exercises will truly be able to allow you to go really big and maintain your frequency. You need to investigate, is this the person I want to be with? Is this the thing that I want to be doing with my life? Is this the area I want to live in? Is this where I want to be right now? If those essential elements are, are um, largely at least 80% or so or more in alignment with who you are, then you have a profound foundation of which to ask of yourself, what excites me next? What excites me next? And now all these games and these practices and these imagineering, imagineering sessions start to make sense to you. And now when you watch a video of mine, you feel, yes, of course, this makes sense. Let me take it up another notch and another notch, etc. And so you keep on expanding and learning while you expand and fine tuning and purifying yourself while you're expanding, while you're becoming more powerful and more deliberate in your chosen frequency and in your free will. Simultaneously, you become pure and you learn faster. And so everything is amazing when you start following your joy, when you start listening to that inner resonance, to what truly makes you, you act on that, be fearless for that. Cause that's the only thing that's going to save your ass. It's the only thing that will save your life and take it somewhere truly meaningful. So the best way to maintain and raise your frequency is to have the basic ingredients for an exciting life right there with you. If you don't have that, make the change. Even if you believe you can't make the change, change your beliefs so that you can at least feel largely supported. Know that you are supported. Seek community support. Um, practice more of these sessions until you do feel a basic level of support to actually go out there, live your adventurous life and know that you will be supported. When you do believe that and when you do act on it fearlessly, you will be supported every single time more so than you ever could imagine before you actually take that step. That combined with just exposing yourself to the texts and books you are inspired by that or have the capacity to uplift your spirits, watch the videos, uh, go through some more of the academy videos, go sit in on one of the retreats, go sign up for an event perhaps if you want an even more profound shift um, or, or permission slip to shift your life around. Come to one of my retreats if I'm still giving them by the time you're watching this video. So yeah, have the basic ingredients for an exciting life there. Okay, that's important. If that's not there yet, work on the foundation. Go live where you want to live. Be with who you want to be with. Or be by yourself if you want to be by yourself. And believe in the things you want to believe in, at least at a basic core level. And then do what you want to do, at least at a basic core level. Or at least attempt it. At least start to explore what that would be like. And then, whenever you feel like, oh, I could use a little spiritual upliftment, watch one of the videos. Go watch one of the retreat recordings. Go do one of the lessons, etc. 
that's really the best advice I can give you and it's the most effortless advice. So it's twofold. One, get your basic ingredients for an exciting life in place. If you don't have that yet, work on that foundation. Then that foundation will support all your other endeavors and then just simply watch some of the videos whenever you feel you want that, need that, or can use a boost or want to maintain or learn to increase your frequency. Lots of love and I'll see you at some point.